about Fortnite. And in a good way. Normally, Fortnite makes me mad. Last season with the cars was like not that bad, but it was pretty bad to start. There's been a lot of recent seasons that just haven't been up to snuff. But a lot of people booted up the new season of Fortnite with all of the Marvel things. And instead of playing the Marvel stuff, instead of playing any of the Marvel stuff, went straight into Fortnite Reload. Where people are having more fun than they've had in years with Fortnite. There's a few things I want to talk about that I think would make Fortnite Reload better. And would make it vastly more popular than Battle Royale. Easily. These are changes that I think probably help the vast majority of the audience. I don't think any one specific subset of players has helped, whether that be good players, middling players, or bad players, or casual players, sweats, and average Joes, whatever you want to call it. These changes probably are divisive for some, but I think... If you think about them long enough, at least one of them will make sense to you. So, let's talk about the main feature of Fortnite Reload. Smaller map, 40 players. It's called Fortnite Reload because you are allowed to reload into the map even without a reboot bus, as long as one of your teammates is still alive and either squads or duos. No trios, no solos. Wouldn't make sense with those. It wouldn't make sense with solos, though. I play solo on my Nintendo Switch because, you know, I don't want to deal with people. So, I just, I just play by myself, you know. Why did that stop? Wait, what? This isn't the one hour loop? Give me the one hour loop. Yeah, there we go. No one, no one's going to notice that I just messed that up and had to go and fix it. So, one of the things that happens when you're dealing with potentially teams continuing to reland on you or rotating fragments of the team continuing to reland on you is when fighting people, they come back with full health and 50 overshield. Well, you only have the loot that you got from them, better positioning because they're coming from the sky, and some ammo and minis. Minis are always dropped. My first change for Fortnite Reload is I think if you get a successful kill, this should be the only other mode in the game. I personally, hot take, I think pubs, every, uh, Siphon belongs in every mode, but I think Fortnite Reload makes the most sense with Siphon. Getting two minis is cool, but it doesn't change the fact that you can't use minis for health. There's not super fast heals outside of chugs, which we'll also get into. And if teammates are continuing to land on you, they always land with a gun. They land with a gray AR. It's not the best gun. It's not a lavish gun, but it is a gun nonetheless. And if you can't get good enough positioning or if you're being held by their teammates while they're respawning, sometimes killing the same person multiple times will happen. And I made a tweet about it. Sometimes you kill someone six times just for them to kill you once. And that one kill could be the kill that leads to you losing the game rather than wiping the enemy squad. Yes, you can try to pick off the enemy squad mates, but it doesn't inherently ring good game design that you're not rewarded for your kill with something more than a few minis when you could have lost health. You could have lost some shield, but not enough that the minis are applicable. I think Siphon is a great addition to the game. Two, I think we probably need some other form of heal and movement, utility, as it were, right? We have crash pads and we have shockwaves. We also have the grappler. The only form of utility outside of those is something like the Porta Bunker. It's strange that we don't have the Porta Fortress, if I'm not mistaken. It's even more strange that we don't have, oh, we have the shield bubble too. It's even more strange that we don't have something along the lines of a chug cannon or a compact bandage bazooka. Uh, I think those are the only ones, right? The bandage bazooka and the chug cannon. Whether it be a two-slot item or a one-slot item, I think they're a great addition for something that's supposed to be almost entirely team-focused because it's either duos or squads. Because I don't want the game to get worse guns or more overpowered guns, so bad players can feel as if they're contributing to the team, I would rather those bad players just be able to play a support role in something like League of Legends or any team shooter. Don't know how to play Overwatch? Pick Mercy. Don't know how to play League of Legends? Pick a healer. Support your team. 
I think you should be able to do the same thing in Fortnite Reload because it is a significantly harder game mode from what I've noticed than regular Battle Royale. Not only are there no bots or less bots, the players are sweatier. I don't mind, I don't care, but I do think that it keeps some players off of the game and makes them have to play the shitty battle, regular Battle Royale even if they don't want to. Maybe they want to try Reload, maybe they want to get better, but not being able to feel like you're contributing to the team and constantly dying because there's no way for you to support your team really fucking sucks. I think adding in um, a support weapon would be a phenomenal addition to the game, and I think that it would make the game feel more well-rounded and less of the better player always wins with only the better player winning, right? Not the better player plus his bad teammate. Because if it's two good players versus one good player and a shitty teammate, you probably lost. But if that shitty teammate can now heal you, keep you alive, maybe you can clutch up 2v1s. Um, yeah, babe, let's, let's call them 2v1s. <laughs> Two v ones more frequently. The last thing when it comes to Fortnite Reload is I've noticed I think people really like the old school gun feel. But in that old school gun feel, there's not a lot of guns with scopes. And I think even in older Fortnite, there was a few guns with scopes, right? There was the semi-automatic, um, there was the auto sniper, the semi-auto sniper. It had like three or three shots or five shots, and it had a scope. It was a slower shooting DMR, basically, but it was, in, in a sense, just a DMR. Then there was also the scoped assault rifle, which is not back in the game, and I don't know if there's any plans for it. But I do think, without having to add attachments, without having to add bunkers, it's a very viable way to add scopes into the game. Throw in some of those old guns that have scopes for the longer range players who don't want to have to rely on a sniper rifle or want the precision of a scope but on an AR or something that shoots faster than a sniper rifle. It will raise the skill ceiling but also lower the skill floor. People who suck donkey dick with the old guns and can't hit for shit because they don't have a scope because they've only been playing new Fortnite are now catered to. But people who can also hit their shots from really far and will excel with a scope will do even better. I think all of these changes are very well-rounded. None of them feel like they inherently ruin the game for anyone. I think some people maybe say that Siphon shits on casual players, but guess what? Now we're giving casual players guns with scopes so they can pick people off from a distance. And we're also giving them healing items or a healing utility gun that they can use to support themselves and the team. I don't think there's any world where these changes all three get added, but I think they're pretty good. And if you think they're pretty good, you should also like the video. Share it with a friend react to my video react to it on your youtube on your twitch stream if you're a big streamer big content creator this somehow makes its way over to you guys talk about it talk about the things you want for fortnite reload to make fortnite reload the best version of itself it can be because it's currently the best way to play fortnite as it stands subscribe to the channel this has been beanie thuggish talking about the changes i'd make to fortnite reload for the betterment of all of the player base, signing out and saying, peace.